marathon has never really been about money. It'll be nice if that does come with it, but I've always seen myself as a marathoner from the day I graduated high school. I've always looked forward to someday running a marathon. I think it's going to be my strongest event. I think the most important thing moving past Chicago is, is just to prove it to myself that I can be a contender. Certainly I think if I run 209 or 210, um, I, I will only not only prove it to myself, but I'll also prove it to a lot of other people. Um, not that that's not that I'm looking for that validation, but I think you know it's helpful when you believe in yourself and when you have other people believing in you because that only it only strengthens your own resolve. I think to to really go after the goals that you're chasing. I'm a little different. I see Matt's debut marathon through a little different lens than he does right now. Like for him, he's so focused, like all the eggs are in one basket, you know, and he's um, doing everything he can to, to really like knock this out of the park. But for me, it's exciting because I feel like this is a new chapter in um, his running career. Like he's going to be a marathoner and this is like the first step and it's a really exciting step. But like no matter what the outcome is, it's like, okay, so you, Chicago turns out how it does and then the next one's better and the next one's better. And so I'm just excited for him to start that journey. Matt, it has been such an awesome thrill for me to be able to work with you through the process of your marathon training. I'm genuinely excited for you. I know everything's going to be wonderful. Have an excellent race and good luck. Good luck in Chi-Town, man. Uh, Matt, best of luck in Chicago. I know you're going to kill it. You're ready to go. All the best to you. We're all here for you, and we know you're just really going to knock it dead. Good luck, Matt. We want to wish you good luck in Chicago. We know you've been putting in a lot of work. You've been re running really well. Go out there and just kill it. You know, Be patient, but just go out there and uh, shoot for a top five finish. Enjoy the first marathon. There's nothing left. There's nothing else like it, and you're going to be great, and we're all very proud of you, and Flagstaff is cheering you on. High five! Hey, what's up, Matt? Good luck, man. I'll be praying for you. Hope you have a great first one. Go, Matt! Good luck, Matt. Run fast! <laughs> Good luck, Matt! <laughs> and I think at this moment, I think our eyes will just be glued to the TV. I just to come to wait for him to run a marathon. At this point, I just wish him all the best and I hope everything goes well as planned. Good luck, Matt. Hi, Matt. Kylan and I just want to wish you good luck in your marathon. We know that you're going to do great. Good luck. Good luck. I remember hearing of a guy, another guy moving out to Flagstaff to pursue his professional running dreams and never thought anything of it. And now you have a great chance to run really fast in Chicago, Matt. Okay, Matt, remember, run 20 miles with your head and the last 10K with your heart. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Matt. Good luck, Matt. Matthew, my friend, good luck. Um, physically, you've done all the work. You're prepared uh, this week, and, and Sunday is all about having fun and just uh, doing what you're ready to do and what hundreds of thousands of people would, would love to trade places with you. Uh, and do uh, themselves, which is run an incredible race up front at the Chicago Marathon. It's, it's an awesome opportunity and I can't wait to see what you do. Go get it.